Hey guys, I'm Nikki Sizemore. Welcome to my kitchen and welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing something a little bit different. Instead of making a from scratch fast recipe, we're gonna go from scratch slow. I'm going to show you how to make my easy smoked baby back ribs recipe. So if you watch my Instagram stories, you know on the weekends I love grilling and I love smoking. And I've had a ton of people ask me for this recipe. So I thought we'd give it a try and see how it goes. If you like my smoker recipes or if you want more grilled recipes, just let me know because I can certainly do more. But these smoked ribs, oh my gosh, you guys, these are the best ribs. They have tons of flavor and they're super succulent. So we're gonna rub the ribs with a really simple spice rub. Let those sit overnight to let all of those spices and sugars and salt kind of permeate into the meat. And then we're gonna smoke them low and slow. I've got a few tricks to make sure that these ribs stay ultra tender and juicy even after a long smoking period. This has gotta be one of my family's favorite summertime meals, although we do make Make these smoked ribs year round. I cannot wait to show you how easy these baby back ribs are to smoke. I hope you guys will stick around. Let's head to the kitchen. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. That way you won't miss out on any of my easy, wholesome, family-friendly, and naturally gluten-free recipes. If you click that little notification bell, you'll be notified every time I post a new video. Let's start with the spice rub. And these are things that you probably already have on hand. We've got brown sugar. You could use light brown sugar or dark brown sugar. Chili powder granulated garlic or garlic powder, granulated onion or onion powder, smoked paprika, pepper, and kosher salt. So just stir this all together. You can do this a day or two in advance. Now let's talk ribs. I've got two racks of baby back ribs and there's an important step before we add the spice rub. We need to remove the membrane that runs along the underside of the ribs. So use a sharp knife to separate the membrane from the bones. Once you get it loosened, use a paper towel. This is just going to help you grip it and pull back. That membrane should come off in one piece. If you don't remove the membrane, it turns dry and papery on the smoker and it's no fun to eat. But you could also ask your butcher to do that for you. Now we can sprinkle the ribs with the spice rub. You wanna make sure that you get both sides of the ribs and use your fingers to press the spice rub into the meat so that it sticks. The spice rub is going to give the ribs so much flavor and it's also going to help keep them juicy on the smoker. Now, if you have the time, cover the ribs and refrigerate them overnight. It is time to preheat the smoker. So you want to set it to 225 degrees. You can use any smoker you have. I've got a pellet smoker, which is really easy, but you can absolutely use a hardwood smoker as well. Place the ribs directly on the racks of the smoker. Close the lid and we're gonna smoke them for three hours. That's going to allow the smoke to permeate into the ribs, giving them the most delicious flavor. Pull off the ribs, make sure to cover the smoker because we're gonna keep that hot. And now place the ribs on heavy duty aluminum foil and brush them with barbecue sauce. You can use any kind of barbecue sauce you like. I will include my favorite in the recipe. Crimp up the sides of the foil to make a pouch, then drizzle in some apple cider along the edges. This is going to help to keep the ribs super moist. I'm also adding apple cider vinegar. That's going to help to create an awesome sauce in the bottom of these packets. Dot the ribs with butter. That's going to give them even more flavor and help prevent them from drying out. Then wrap the ribs tightly in the foil using two layers because we want to make sure that none of these juices escape. Return the ribs to the smoker and let them smoke for about two hours longer or until they are tender. Now at this point, your entire yard uh, or make that neighborhood is going to smell incredible. Open up those foil packets and brush the ribs with a bit more of the barbecue sauce. Close the smoker and let those cook just for about 15 minutes longer just to create a sticky glaze on top of the ribs. And now for the best part. It is time to eat. Transfer the ribs to a cutting board. Cut them into portions. Pile the ribs onto a serving platter and then drizzle them with all of those juices from the foil packets. Oh my gosh, you guys, these smoked ribs are seriously the best. In my family, this is a must make for all of the big summer holidays like Father's Day, 4th of July, and Labor Day. But to be honest, we make them year round. 
I hope that your family will love these ribs as much as mine does. Just don't forget the paper towels. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope that I don't know what I'm trying to say. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I've included a link below to the recipe for these easy smoked baby back ribs. I've also included a link to my website, which features a ton of other quicker recipes, if that's more your speed. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.